Caribbean business delegation has paid a courtesy call on the president, Nana Ekufado, at the Flagstaff House in Accra. The 32-man delegation is in Ghana to explore business opportunities at the Trade Mission Summit underway in the country. President Ekufado said the government is laying a solid foundation that will facilitate private sector growth and propel the country's industrialization agenda. Over the years, bilateral relations between Ghana and Trinidad and Tobago were not very strong until recent times when Ghana started to explore means to secure oil and gas from the Caribbean country. The visit to the country by the 30-man delegation is another opportunity for Ghana and the Caribbean nation to deepen their diplomatic and economic ties. The Caribbean business delegation was led by the acting managing director of the Republic Bank Ghana, Mr. Anthony Jordan. Unlike many summits we have experienced in the past, this summit has an already planned matchmaking program where related businesses from the Caribbean and Ghana have been paired to have private discussions on doing business. By so doing, we are assured of real possibilities for business partnerships and alliances before we close the trade mission. President Akufuado said the private sector anywhere holds the key to the economic development of that nation and that his focus as president is to build an economy solid enough to propel investment and private sector growth. Strengthening the private sector. We're strengthening the private sector by creating a macro economy that is stable, with low interest rates, low rate of inflation, stable currency, and a competitive fiscal regime that will enable Ghanaian enterprises and those operating from here to be competitive. President Ekufado enumerated a number of initiatives his administration came up with to improve the well-being of Ghanaians. When we came into office, we found uh, an indebtedness of over 1.2 billion CDs. That's roughly uh, 300 million United States dollars. And was strangling the system because it meant that service providers couldn't be paid and therefore were increasingly withdrawing their services from the system and returning our country back to a situation of cash and carry. In the six months in which we have been effectively in office, we have been able with prudent management, uh, better control of expenditure, to be able to have paid off 560 million. The president hopes the ties between the two nations will grow from strength to strength.